subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. A team of scientists has mapped the orbit of the most distant object in our solar system and another has found a way to use fin whale songs to map the Earth's ocean flow. Welcome back to another episode of Scientifics where I, Mohana Basu, bring you a roundup of the most exciting science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, scientists have mapped out the orbit of a planetoid in the solar system that is almost four times further away from the Sun than Pluto, making this the most distant object ever observed in our solar system. Nicknamed Far Far Out, the planetoid had been first detected in 2018 and the team has now collected enough observations to pin down its official orbit. Far Far Out will be given an official name after its orbit is better determined over the next few years. It was discovered at the Subaru 8-meter telescope located in Hawaii. Far Far Out's average distance from the Sun is 132 astronomical units. One astronomical unit or AU is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. For comparison, Pluto is only 39 AU from the Sun. The newly discovered object has a very elongated orbit that takes it out to 175 AU at its most distant and inside the orbit of Neptune to around 27 AU when it is close to the Sun. Far Far Out takes about a thousand years to orbit around the Sun, crossing Neptune's orbit every time. This means Far Far Out has likely experienced strong gravitational interactions with Neptune over the age of the solar system, which may explain why it has such a large and elongated orbit. Far Far Out is estimated to be about 400 kilometers across. Also this week, a team has discovered remnants of planets with Earth-like crusts in the atmospheres of four nearby white dwarf stars. The discovery offers a glimpse into planets from billions of years ago. The crusts are from the outer layers of rocky planets similar to Earth and Mars. The planets include one of the oldest planetary systems seen by astronomers so far. The University of Warwick-led team was analysing data from the European Space Agency's Gaia telescope of over 1,000 nearby white dwarf stars when they came across an unusual signal from one particular white dwarf. The outer layers of the white dwarfs contain up to 300,000 gigatons of rocky debris, which includes up to 60 gigatons of lithium and 3,000 gigatons of potassium, equivalent to 60 km sphere of similar density of Earth's crust. The amount of crust material detected is similar in mass to that of asteroids we see in our own solar system, leading the astronomers to believe that what they are seeing around the four stars is material broken off from a planet rather than an entire planet itself. Previous observations of white dwarfs have found evidence of material from the inner core and mantle of the planets, but no definitive evidence of crust material. Crust is a small fraction of a planet's mass and the elements detected in this study are only detectable when the star is very cool. White dwarfs are in the dying phase of their life cycle as they have burnt out their fuel and cool over billions of years. These four white dwarfs are thought to have burnt out their fuel about 10 million years ago. Meanwhile, for the first time, hydrogen chloride has been detected in the atmosphere of Mars, opening up a completely new chemical cycle that scientists have to now understand. The discovery was made by European Space Agency's Roscosmos ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. The spacecraft also brought new insights about how Mars is losing its water. As you may already be aware, hydrogen chloride or HCl comprises a hydrogen and chlorine atom. Chlorine-based gases in cosmic bodies are of special interest to scientists because they are possible indicators of volcanic activity. However, in this case, hydrogen chloride was detected in very distant locations at the same time and scientists did not find traces of other gases that would be expected from volcanic activity. This means that hydrogen chloride on Mars is coming from a different process that has not been previously observed on the red planet. On Earth, salts in form of sodium chloride, which are remnants of evaporated oceans, are lifted into the atmosphere by winds. 
Sunlight warms the atmosphere causing dust together with water vapor released from ice caps to rise. The salty dust reacts with the atmospheric vapor to release chlorine which then reacts with molecules containing hydrogen to create hydrogen chloride. A similar process may also be taking place on Mars. Back on Earth, scientists have warned that sawfish have disappeared from half of the world's coastal waters. In fact, the distinctive shark-like rays face complete extinction due to overfishing. Sawfish, named after their unique long, narrow noses lined by teeth called rostra that resemble a saw blade, were once found along the coastlines of 90 countries. However, they are now among the world's most threatened family of marine fishes, presumed extinct from 46 of those nations. The teeth on rostra of sawfish are easily caught in fishing nets. Sawfish fins are among the most valuable in the global shark fin trade and rostra are also sold for novelty medicines and are spurs for cockfighting. The team recommends that international conservation efforts focus on eight countries. Cuba, Tanzania, Colombia, Madagascar, Panama, Brazil, Mexico and Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, scientists have found a way to use the songs of fin whales to map the oceanic crust. Sound waves from fin whales are reflected and refracted within the Earth's crust, including the sediment and the solid rock layers beneath. Scientists from Oregon State University have now found that the signals recorded on seismometers on the ocean bottom can be used to determine the thickness of the layers as well as other information relevant to seismic research. The research could provide new avenues for using data from whale calls in research, expanding the use of the data that is already being collected. Whale calls bounce between the ocean surface and the ocean bottom. Part of the energy from the calls transmit through the ground as seismic wave. The wave travels through the oceanic crust where it is reflected and refracted by layers of the Earth's crust. When the waves are recorded at the seismometer, they can provide information that allows researchers to estimate and map the structure of the crust. Using a series of whale songs that were recorded by, the th by three seismometers, the researchers were able to pinpoint the whale's location and use the vibrations from the songs to create images of the Earth's crust layers. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.